What's up guys? So I first made this really long video and edited it all together and stuff, but I decided two things. One, you probably aren't going to watch the whole thing and you probably don't want to watch me talk that long. And two, uh, I think it took away a lot from my actual point I was trying to make. So this video obviously is about Spirit of the Game and Ultimate. And for the, those that aren't, you know, playing a big players in Ultimate, you might not know what that actually means. Basically, Spirit of the Game is this thing that Ultimate has in place that is like above sportsmanship. Um, that is kind of what every player should play by. And um, it's basically essentially just saying that when you're out there, you should play by the rules, fair play, no um, intimidation, no in intentional infractions, all these things. Make the right call, all that stuff. Um, so essentially, I'm just going to talk real quick about why I think Spirit of the Game doesn't work at the highest level. And I'm going to use the example of the World Championships right now being played over in Japan. I've watched several games uh, from the championships and I've noticed a trend in all of them. And just looking at it from a very basic standpoint, mostly every team on every poll throws the disc off sides. Um, and just like if you know football, you have to stand behind the line before the uh, kicker kicks the football off. And Frisbee, same way. You have to stand behind the line before the guy tosses the disc off. And either the puller, the guy throwing, or someone on the team is pretty much over the line every single time. And you may be saying, Brody, this is stupid. That's a really stupid rule. And not a stupid rule, but like it's a really small thing to get upset about, whatever. And I'm saying right now, if we have people watching this game for the first time, that's the very first thing they're going to see, right? It's the very first thing that happens in every point is one team standing off sides, throwing the disc from off sides. And if I bring in someone that's never seen Ultimate before and I go, dude, watch this sport. It's really awesome. The very first thing they're going to say before anything else is, are you allowed to just run off, off sides? Are you allowed to do that? And I'm going to say, no, it's actually a rule that you can't do it. And they're just going to say, well, why isn't it being called? I'm going to say, well, because we don't have referees and they're supposed to call it themselves and stuff like that. So basically the very first point of almost every single point being played right now in the World Championships over in Japan is starting off, or starting off with one of the teams cheating. Ah! So, um, and I mean, you can look at this from a bunch of different standpoints. There's a, there's a bunch of calls that were made that the person called, and because there was a crowd watching and booing basically the call being a bad call, they reversed it. If there wasn't a crowd there, he would have kept the call. I mean... I think having observers, so World Championships has no observers at all. I think having observers, which are people that basically are referees only when you want them to be. So if I make a call and the other guy disagrees with me, we can actually resolve it ourselves, which they want you to actually do. The observers don't want you to actually get them involved. Um, but if I want to go to the observer, I can call him in. And most of the time they make a call. A lot of times they actually do send the disc back because they said they couldn't see it or whatever. So finishing this video very shortly, my thoughts on Spirit of the Game are this. Uh, I think at the basic level, it sounds good, it looks good, but it doesn't work, essentially. It doesn't work. When you, I mean, just think about any pickup game you've ever been a part of. Basketball, football, uh, any sort of pickup game like that. If you actually started playing that pickup game and then all of a sudden someone came into it and said, hey, the winning team gets $1,000, is that pickup game going to be fun to play? No. People are going to be calling travel. People are going to be calling foul. People are going to be calling charges in a pickup basketball game because they're going to do whatever it takes to win. And that's just like what we're seeing at any, at any high level. The team is going to do whatever it takes to win. Plain and simple. And if you're not doing whatever it takes to win, you're probably going to lose the game. Hate to break it to you, but that's how sports work. If you don't do whatever it takes to win, you're probably going to lose the game. And I'm not talking about fouling the guy every single time on the mark is doing whatever it takes to win. I'm not talking about grabbing the guy's jersey every single time he's about to get open on you. You know what I'm talking about. It's playing at a level that you're looking, your main goal in that game is to win the game. So, I'm ending it on this because I can talk, again, I'm, I'm going over five minutes here. But post in the comments what you think about Spirit of the Game. Essentially, my point is this. If you're having a competitive game 
at any level and you're taking away a third party uh, from being able to call the game and you're making the players call the game, it's going to be played in a way that outside people watch it going, what the heck's going on? So that's my point. Uh, uh, that's just my point. I know that much, much of you probably disagree with me. Whatever. Post in the comments. I want to hear about it. I think it's important to have different sides of every argument. So if you disagree, if you agree, I'd like to talk to both sides, see how, you know, maybe we can work, you know, I don't know. It's just something that needs to be thrown out there because right now I think so many people are gung-ho on spirit. And when you, if you've actually ever watched a game where there's no observers and no, no referees and you're watching two high elite pl teams play, there's two things that are going to happen. One, there's going to be a lot of calls being made, a lot, a lot of calls being made. And two, there's going to be a lot of bad calls being made. So um, that's what I'm going to say on that. Post in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. And, yeah, I got it under seven minutes. Cool, perfect. All right, peace, man up.